Welcome to RFD TV Live, an informative and interactive hour featuring topics and products of interest to rural America, with expert guests on hand to answer your questions or discuss your feedback. And now, RFD TV Live. Enjoy what you're doing. You've got a, a great product, and, and it people that have the, the memories of growing up on the farm, you, you bring those back. And uh, oh, absolutely. You said every, every customer is a story. Every customer is a little bit different, whether they're they want horses or a place to put the things or a party barn or alpacas or uh, we're building a big uh, barn in Vermont now that uh, will house uh, uh, carts for a ski lift. You know, every, every week there's something new. In fact, you said you've sold hundreds four or five hundred barns mm -hmm. now in these over six 500, over yes. five hundred in these six years and no two are alike they don't even you know everybody has a certain taste and certain need and and, uh, and we're there to, to make it just like they want it and that's that differentiates us between some of our competition uh, it's not just a a stock barn. Uh, sometimes the communication between the buyer and and our design department go back and forth until it's just right. And yeah. We're happy to do that because we're proud of our product. And something you know we talked about. We've heard the words uh, it's a barn kit, mm -hmm. and and uh, some of our uh, viewers that uh, grew up on farms in the earlier mm -hmm. generations know that Sears and Roebuck and Montgomery Ward sold barns mm -hmm. in a kit. Yes, and and the dynamics of why that was done then with the. Uh, the lack of wood and, and the skilled labor to build a big 30, 40 foot barn uh, is similar now. Uh, the labor is hard to find or skilled and the wood is expensive. We're able to bring, make it much more cost effective by doing this in the, in the, uh, on the plant floor and then bringing it to the site and reproducing that, that barn that is uh, a classic uh, 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 myth in our, mm -hmm. in our culture, especially in, in the Midwest. In fact, you know? let's talk about that a little bit because that's something that's very important to you and Jewel, and that is your, and, and we know there's a lot of projects to, around the country to save barns that are now in existence that were, that are a hundred years old plus to save those barns. But, and, and so you taking that, that part of our history really focus on authenticity in your designs as well. Absolutely. You know, uh, uh Mark, where, where you're from Iowa, the Iowa barn, uh, uh, foundation. They do uh, have. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, we're members of those and, and they help to, to carry that tradition and, and we uh, are very, very conscious of, what, uh, of, our, of our role in, in keeping those uh, barns alive. Right. When uh, it comes to barn homes, you spoke a little bit earlier about the foam insulation. Of course, in Texas, we're worried about the cold and the heat, heat mm -hmm. right now. Um, those beautiful ceilings that we keep seeing with the big beams, are you still able to put foam up above those, the foam insulation is very Absolutely. popular in this state. Yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, we're getting, Jesse, we're getting a lot of calls from Texas. That's great. The, uh, uh, we put the, between the layers that you see uh, from, to look up, there's the uh, layer of foam, as much foam as you want, uh, depending on where you live for the heat or cold, and then another layer of wood on top of that. Uh, we don't use any uh, OSB or plywood. Every board we use, every piece of wood we use is uh, dimensional, so, uh, and uh, there's no joist hanger, uh, any of that. Uh, it's, it's true timber frame, uh, able to be uh, applied to insulation very well, and, and we're, we're proud of our timber frame structure. What about the and a product that's very customized. Uh, we, we make a, a product that, uh, that encompasses full dimension uh, beams and posts in a, in a timber frame tradition. And uh, you know, whereas a lumber yard, you know, your two by four will be like three and a half by, you know, one and three quarters. Yeah, it's not really a two by four. Right, right, right. And, and our, all of our wood is custom, uh, Custom cut at uh, mills, uh, small mills that we uh, we select and work with, and uh, a six by six is a six by six, and a one by is a full one inch thick, and uh, uh, it makes a difference. It it it's really a, a different look, uh, and we by do by uh, making it in a manufacturing uh, sense, we uh, we can make it bigger or smaller or, or really customized uh, to whatever the customer wants. And while we have about four different basic styles, the customer chooses a basic style, then goes back and forth with the uh, designers and gets exactly what they want. Exactly. Why all of our barns look so different, but they are all uh, uh, timber frame-esque.